Okay, we'll open with questions, you guys. Hey, Rod, this is Dan Hinksman in Reno. Hi, Dan. Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. It is now, isn't it? It is now. Feels like morning. Um, <laughs> you get to sleep in more than I do. <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably true. <laughs> On Tuesdays, for sure. Um, it, I guess, to start with, um, Looking at some of the numbers that have been put up so far this year, there's some big numbers that you guys have allowed on defense. What's, what's happening with the defense that needs to be tweaked or changed over there? Well, we we need to play more effectively, and and there there we've had different issues, believe it or not, in each game, Dan. That uh, you know I, I think come with uh, with growing a football team up, you're going to see we're going to see some inconsistencies. Um, Believe it or not, there were improvements from what we had the week before in the Utah State game. I, we were in better position. We 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 uh, actually played better. It was the big plays in the San Diego State game that that uh, that that really destroyed us. And uh, you know, so building more consistency, getting guys more comfortable with what they're doing, and understand it's okay to trust the decision and go with it. And and uh, hey, just fly around and play football. That's kind of where we're at a little bit. But yeah, I'm I'm with you. We need to get these numbers brought down a little bit. It might put a little color back in my hair. <laughs> What's left of it? Um, and I remember at media day, you were really optimistic. I think you're always optimistic. Um, but has your optimism or confidence been shaken at all by this start? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, and and I mean, we we're in the process of building something. And I know I know what a lot of people are thinking. Well. Yeah, show me, coach. I'm saying the same thing. Show me, but uh, I do see the, the the growth that's taking place, and I do know that it, you're not just going to click it overnight. I'm not going to put. Uh, I can't put that many uh, inexperienced or new guys out there against other people's experienced players, and and uh, and be a dominant football team just yet. Now that doesn't mean I don't think that we're going to have a chance to win games and we can do some good things like that uh, by any stretch. But uh, no, it has not shaken me. It. Uh, and and it uh, to be honest with you, it's it's not frustrating either. It's it's maybe driving me crazy a little bit, um, but uh, that's because I see us do it at times, and and that's going to happen when you're growing something up. But that's where we're in search of consistency right now. Okay. And uh, have you have you had to work to keep your player spirits up, or are they okay? Or well, I think that uh, that's constantly a challenge. Uh, you know, they want success also, and and. And and it's their names uh, on the back of the jerseys out there that uh, you know that uh, that everybody's talking about, that everybody's commenting about, that uh, that uh, people have opinions about. So you know they're they're uh, they want to win, and uh, right now they're working, they're still working their tails off, and, and and they're hungry to do it. And I think that uh, I think it's a testament to the fact that the 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 unity of this football team has grown, the fact that we've got a family built. Uh, is enabling that to be more the case, but uh, certainly we need to start seeing some success. And what what uh, good things have happened so far this year? Well, I've seen uh, I've seen young guys grow up and and uh, and be able to make plays. You know, I've seen a uh, you know you, you just go through. We can go by position. I mean, if you look at quarterback, I look at the way our quarterback is performing in, in comparison to a year ago. Now, our whole offense had a bad day on on this last Saturday. I, I can't judge anything based off of just off of just one day. But I see I see better command. I see better uh, better presence about him. I see him making good decisions. I see him running the show very well for us. You know, and everybody, people want to judge the quarterback based on how. You know, of the the number of passes he threw, uh, what was the result of those passes? And and uh, without taking anything else into into play, uh, in regards to when he threw the ball someplace, uh, is he the one that made a poor throw? And there have been some, uh, or was it a receiver that ran a poor route or didn't catch the ball? Whatever the case may be, but also what he does in regards to checking protections, to checking the run game, and things like that, um, putting us into good plays when uh, when somebody's uh, bringing another look at us. And he's done a tremendous job at that. And uh, you know, there's more confidence in, in what he's doing that way. Uh, you look at our running backs. Um, you know, Deontay's body is banged up a little bit. And if, a year ago, we wouldn't have been able to, to survive uh, as many injuries at running back. But I've got some youngsters that are coming into the game that I think are, are quality players. And, and uh, you know, Corey White has been in there and done a good job. This past weekend, Princeton McCarty and, and Troy Vital have both been in there and, 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 and had success, uh, done good things. And they're going to get nothing but better because they're just pups. And uh, so, you know, that's a, that's a great excitement to me. 
You know, I look at receiver. A receiver last year was very disappointed in the performance of that core. Uh, I've seen some guys making some plays at receiver now. I mean, look at Eddie Williams. Eddie Williams is making plays all over the place, and that's a tough guy, uh, a great competitor. I look at the way that he plays, and that's something that is a, a that's a very good thing. What that guy's bringing to the table, and and the and the way that he's competing and and producing. And then you go out at the at the retriever position, and Maurice Shaw uh, making more big plays, making plays for us more so than than a year ago. Uh, you know, and Unfortunately, he got that ankle hurt a week ago and wasn't able to play against San Diego State. Uh, but that was it was an improvement from him. Max Komar has been more of an improvement. I got a true freshman named Preston Davis that uh, that showed up big in the game two weeks ago, and, and he's got got tremendous hands. It's going to get nothing but better. This is his, not only his first year in college, but his first year playing college football. Um, you know, and, and that's on the, the offensive side of the ball. On the, on the defensive side of the ball, the fact that we're able to actually line defensive linemen up um, was something that we weren't able to do a year ago. You know, I look at the way that Josh Shaw uh, at defensive end is playing. You know, you watch the, the first quarter of Saturday's ball game and, 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 and put him on a year ago uh, or any time before that, that, that young man has gotten a whole lot better. Uh, we need to play as, as a whole, as a defense, certainly we need to play better. But I look at the way he was playing with the motor, making tackles for losses and things like that. That was that was getting to be a better thing at, uh, you know, at the defensive tackle position. Uh, Big old Famui made more tackles for us in this last ball game than what he had been, and that's you know a junior college guy that we brought to the table that we needed. You know we brought him in here because we we needed some help there, and and I saw him saw him show up more in in this last ball game and, and started making some plays, and hopefully it's starting to click a little bit uh, for him as we're going right now. And and prior to that, the the, the defensive tackle that had been making had been playing you know maybe performing the best. Was the the redshirt freshman O'Cosgrove, and and he's still going to get stronger and bigger than he than what he is right now, and uh, and and he's been doing some good things, and and he's just a just a pup, you know. I, I go to linebacker uh, JoJo Dixon did some things in this last ball game flying around. He started to show the kind of a linebacker that he's going to be able to be. That's a kid that can run and can hit. Uh, you know, he had a he had a shoulder a couple weeks ago, and that that limited some of his play. He played as a true freshman last year, um, so we're seeing some of the the rewards come from from him having and played through that. Um, you know, if you go back there to the secondary, well, Shiloh Keel, I mean, the way that that guy, the way that he plays and is, is similar to what he was doing last year. I mean, he was one of the bright spots of, of, uh, of you know, one of the things that we could point to last year and say, hey, this was a good sign. This was a good thing. Here's obviously a good player, a tremendous leader. Well, you know, right now he's on the, he's on the shelf with the shoulder injury. I look at the way that he has responded to it. I mean, he, he's taken it upon himself to say, hey, Coach A, Coach Kreiner, I'm going to help you all get those, uh, I'm going to help you get those safeties put where they belong. And there's a guy that was, he's been active in practice every day. He was active on our sideline on Saturday. Um, you now that proves to me that he cares about what's going on here. And so I got a football team that, that cares about the growth that it can make. You know, that's, that's a great sign in comparison to what it was that we had initially taken over. Um, and I'm starting to ramble a little bit. I could go on and on. So there, there are a number of things. Now, one thing that certainly the only thing that anybody's going to judge Rob Akey off of is is uh, is the one loss column. So right now, that doesn't look very good. But I can't put my, my attention on that. Uh, yeah, I've got to produce that. I, I completely understand that. There's no question about that. But uh, I, I'm not going to let anything stand in the way of, of us making the growth that we need to make and, and seeing the progress that we're making and being demanding that we progress more because obviously it's got to be done now. We've got a hell of a football team coming in here this weekend. Yeah. You knew there would be some, uh, you know, some growth issues, but uh, did, you, did you put a time frame on it? Did you think that this might take a couple of years, this might take three years? Well, you know, as football coaches, we all think we can get everything done now, but the outside world wants it done even quicker than that. I, uh, I, I uh, am completely aware that it was going to take it was going to take us some time to to get things headed our way. Uh, we also elected to do it the way to build a strong a strong football program, a strong foundation, and do it with. You know, with with youth, with with freshman players, and 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 you know that doesn't mean you know as I'm talking about these new guys coming in here that helps get it done. I'm not selling short either. Some of the you know we've got some seniors that are doing good things for us. I talked about you know I just got done talking about Eddie Williams and and you know uh, Corby and, and those guys in the offensive linemen are, are, are upperclassmen that are that are playing good roles for us. I'm not kicking anybody to the curb. We're just trying to make the strongest family we can right now. Now with what has gone on, the fact that the last and only bowl game at the University of Idaho was 10 years ago. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good indication that you're not going to snap your thumbs and it's going to happen right now. But I'm, 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 I'm not going to put a time limit on other than saying as soon as humanly possible.